Hey guys, this is Joe with Brickbuilt Studios here today, and today we'll be discussing and reviewing 30628, The Monster Book of Monsters. This fun little Harry Potter set here was released earlier this year, initially as a Barnes & Noble exclusive, but has since been made available as a gift with purchase of Harry Potter orders of $75 or more. Now I believe that promotion has since ended. However, it is still available at Barnes & Noble as an exclusive for $24.99. Alternatively, you can find it on BrickLink for about $25 to $30 per set. Now with that Barnes & Noble exclusive $24.99 price tag, that comes out to about $0.08 cents a piece, which is right underneath our little $0.10 cents per piece marker that we try to hover around if we can make sure we're getting a good deal. Now of note, with this set, we do have quite a few stickers in here, uh, especially the Monster Book and the Monsters stickers are each two phase stickers and this can be really difficult to line those up on their two individual bricks properly it can be really easy to accidentally get those all skewed off center or whatever so it's a little disappointing that lego didn't go with a print especially when you look at some of their other new book style sets where they have fully printed covers that just look fantastic a little disappointing but uh, as a promotional uh, barnes and noble exclusive as well i guess it makes sense that they're just trying to keep some of their costs down so, a really cool thing about this model that I did not realize going into building it is it has a cool little rolling mechanism. So you can push it around on the ground and it gives it the little chomping effect, kind of like what you see in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I thought that was really fantastic. Again, I had no context that it rolled around and did that. Um, none of the advertising material I'd seen referenced that, so it was a fun little surprise. That being said, the rolling mechanism is a little stiff. And it works optimally on hard surfaces such as like a coffee table or a hardwood or tile floor rather than carpeting or a tablecloth. Now a cool thing is we do have a brand new exclusive Draco Malfoy minifigure. And he does have one of those new two-part wands. So when you get it, it's a two individual wands on a little mold stick. So you can break one off and you still have a free backup wand in case you ever lose one or break it. They are a little bit fragile, so... It wouldn't surprise me if some of them do get bent or broken here and there. One of the things I really like about this set is the amount of the slightly longer dark brown teeth that we get. I know that these have come out here and there throughout LEGO sets, but they're fairly rare even with that in mind. So it's really cool to get uh, five of them plus an extra one. And we have all the small blonde teeth as well, so it's just a really good teeth pack. Look, fun little tongue in there with a little corner one by 2 slope. And all in all, it's just a really enjoyable model to build. In closing, this is a fun little decorative set. Um, like the mechanisms, as I mentioned, the mechanism is a little rough to use, so it will likely work best as a display model. And it looks really good on a shelf up next to the other Harry Potter classroom booklets. Uh, of note, this is nearly the same size as the other Harry Potter books, so it should display together very well. Also, it's just a little bit more detailed, though. I like all the all the little trim details on this one. With that said, of course, be sure to like and subscribe. Check out our Facebook and Instagram page for our weekly giveaways. Thanks again for joining us today here at Brickbuilt Studios, and you have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there.